are in Southern California to check out some of our favorite hiking spots. In this clip, we visit San Bernardino Valley. We begin our adventure on an unnamed trail located in Loma Linda, California. First incline. Whew. Coming up the hill was a little bit tough. Not undoable, but we made it. The incline can get pretty steep at parts of that area. However, we're at the top of the first summit and it looks like there's a couple more to go. So let's head that way and show you what we got. Going up another incline. This one not as brutal as the one that led us up here. However, it's still an incline, so use caution. All right, I think we made it to the top. Best thing about this hike so far is that the incline was very easy. There is an area that you hike and it's kind of tough to hike that little part, about 45 degree angle, and then you get to a peak and you look over and you get to see the valley right in front of us so it's worth it the best thing about taking that one peak is that you have a straight incline down so nice soft incline all the way back down and this hike is easy not so challenging but you do get your workout in So it looks like we made it to the climax of this little part of the trail that we're walking on. It's a cross right behind us. Pretty cool. Nice little ending point, so to speak. Ironically, right below us is a cemetery called Montecito Cemetery. People are just dying to get in there. colored lizards roam this area that we've seen they're hard to get pictures of right now it's about 97 degrees however it's dry and it's about 9 30 in the morning so it's still a little cool out here but i wouldn't recommend hiking this trail if it gets any hotter unless you're a more experienced trail hiker so to speak definitely bring some water down the trail is a piece of cake however you got to watch out for these little pockets of holes either from gophers or from reptiles or I hate to say it but there's snakes up here so hopefully you don't have to run into one of those we haven't and out of all the years I've lived in this area I've never ran into one on these trails but never say never this crevice right here is uh, pretty deep about four foot drop. If you're not careful, you could, I guess, slip. But you stay on the trail, you'll be okay. However, it is narrow and sandy. Oh, that seltzer game be killing it. Look at that. Look, truly over there. Budweiser seltzer over here. 
this time we found a hard kombucha can. So, looks like the athletic people still like their booze. <laughs> Only in America. Only in America. of our hike this morning we got here at nine o'clock it started the hike what time is it now it's about 10 o'clock hopefully it took us about an hour to do and it's an easy to moderate hike but it's already close to 90 degrees there's a slight breeze the good thing about it was nobody else was on this hike it was a great way to start the morning so these are the perpetrators of all the firework madness and the brand is called ganja how fitting. This morning we're starting our hike to Blue Mountain. Let's see how long it takes us to get up there. shaded area on the path up to Bluth Mountain, at least from the area that we took to park. That's the path that we used to get up to Blue Mountain. So on that path, there was a nice shaded area that we just walked through. When taking unknown trails or hiking unknown trails or using trails that you're not familiar with it's always smart to use mental markers or markers such as the one behind me that says Lux there's been a couple of them on this path that lets you know that if you see those signs when you're walking back down the mountain that you're going down the right path to get back to where you need to go it gets very confusing sometimes when you're on these trails because coming back down the mountain there's several ways to go on trails and it's very easy for you to mistake where you're at and take the wrong trail and wind up completely further away from where you started at and up here GPS doesn't work Google Maps doesn't work and when you're hiking it's hard to even look at your phone because the Sun's shining so brightly these markers come in very handy Now we're starting to get to the heavier inclines of the path going up to Blue Mountain. And this hike is a moderate hike as far as difficulty goes. But some of these inclines can kick your ass. Of the hike so far it's a little strenuous but the weather is nice right now between i want to say close to 80 degrees a little bit of breeze and taking a lot of breaks in the shades so if you do that take your time you'll be successful all right we have a couple more switchbacks to go before we make it to the peak of Blue Mountain here in Grand Terrace. Actually, San Bernardino County, I think. Not exactly sure, to tell you the truth. One side is Ritchie Canyon, which is 
kind of a mix of Riverside County and San Bernardino County. And then the other side is Grand Terrace and High Grove, which is a mix between San Bernardino County and Riverside County. So who does this mountain belong to? The world may never know. On our way up to the peak of Blue Mountain, we're going to be passing a couple of markers. These markers will let you know that you've almost reached the final point of the hike. Let's show you what they are. The first marker that you'll come across on this trail up to Blue Mountain is this one right here that says the legend. And this one is apparently someone who is a legend of this trail. Again, one of the positive things about taking these trails in this area is there's not a lot of people on them. Perfect for those who want to social distance. getting to the top it still avoids us so we must carry on keep going. our wayward sons and I lost my shirt because I have been inside and haven't gotten any sun and I'm taking full advantage of this opportunity while I can because I've also put on 40 pounds so I'm gonna take advantage of the opportunity to not wear my shirt and not be embarrassed doing my best to capture this incline on the video of course it never captures but whoo this one's steep very steep okay hopefully this is the last switchback that we are going to encounter before going up to the final peak if not Hopefully this is the last switchback with some serious incline that we're going to encounter before we get to the final peak. And we are on the final stretch of the trail, almost at the top. And it's looking good. See the beautiful views behind me. Mount Baldy back there. Inland Empire, Let's take a look. Not an easy hike. Moderate, but completely worth it. And we have made it to the top of Blue Mountain. Right now it feels about 75 degrees, so it's not too hot. And it's about 11 o'clock a.m. here in Southern California, specifically Grand Terrace. And again, we're at the top of Blue Mountain and you know it's Blue Mountain because of the towers at the very top. And at the top of Blue Mountain, you'll see a memorial to Ralph Granillo, the legend of the Blue Mountain. Looks like he lived a good life climbing this mountain. Lofter up, lighter up. What do we think? The side of Blue Mountain that we are on right now is the Ritchie Canyon side and the serenity of this side can't be beat. We share this area with a lot of wildlife and it feels good to be one with nature. That's what hiking is all about. That's what traveling is all about. And that's what life's all about, isn't it?
up here, I've never seen an actual service truck on this service road. I know there's been fires and stuff throughout the years, but it's the first time I've seen a truck up here. Ironically, it's our cell phone provider. Coming back down the hill, this incline is still kind of brutal, so you have to be careful, especially that it's very dusty. You can slip and fall if you're not paying attention. As you can tell, there are a lot of reptiles that live here and they are not afraid to come up to you. So just use your best judgment and please have all your senses about you while you're out here. But beautiful trail and the hike back down. Not as easy as it looks. Because <laughs> you're always uh, making sure that you're not going to slip. So you're locking your legs all the time. Which isn't recommended, apparently, from what a lot of hikers or trekkers have written. So just be cautious. It's crazy to me that there's just, in this area, there's bamboo. That means there's water here. But you there's a broken pipe somewhere. We're in Loma Linda, California, and today we're gonna check out the Razor's Ridge hiking trail. getting warm outside it's still dry out here however the temperature is starting to crank up it's at least 90 degrees fork in the road we have made it to the entrance of the trailhead of Razor Ridge trail it's taken about 20 minutes to walk here from the base of the parking where we were at Let's take a look at this trail to see what we find. This area of the trail is pretty interesting because there are lots of flowers and shrubs on the side which attract bees. And right now we are walking through a bunch of bees. So just be calm, stay on your trail and they won't bother you. We have made it to a fork in the road known as San Bernardino Junction. And this point of the road, there are six different trails you can take. One going to a different direction. Reminds me of a place in Universal Studios known as Five Points Road in the back lot. Pretty interesting. Wonder if this is where they found that inspiration from. So by the indications of that map, if we go to the right, we will find trail number four, which is... Razor Ridge. Perfect. 
So, and that will take us right back to where we came from. It's starting to get windy now that we're getting a little bit higher. And this camera's only been on not even a minute. So, so you can tell as you keep hiking and you start going higher and lower, the elevations change and so does the weather and the temperature depending on where you're at. It was very warm where we came from and now we have a nice breeze. Let's see what else happens because we're coming right back down into a, another ravine it seems like. And we are going back up and the breeze is picking back up and it's feeling very nice out here right now. So it's about 90 degrees, but with the wind chill factor, it is just very comfortable. So I think we picked the perfect time to be out here. It's always a crap shoot. It's always recommended to come earlier than later. Earlier meaning before 12 p.m. So, hey, you never know what you're gonna get because it's almost that time now. Lots of wild donkey poo. So far the difficult level of this trail has been pretty easy, but because it's easy, it's also easy to let your guard down, which you don't want to do. two doves flew right next to us you can't see them in the tree but they are clay colored like red clay brown but they're so beautiful two turtle doves we like it when the doves are around us we like the, the love turtles no the love doves lovey doveys so we're gonna head down this trail from what the map that we read over there at the San Bernardino Junction told us was that there was a fork in the road that goes down the trail however let's find out if this is the one that it is referring to one can only hope careful Wow, this terrain is definitely for bikers. Watch out for this tumbleweed. Well, for a path that's supposed to be going downhill, we are doing quite the contrary. As a matter of fact, it's quite interesting because there are a lot of holes on the side of this narrow path and I can only imagine what kind of animals live in there. Alright, this is getting a little treacherous. You okay? I'm worried, baby. Might be off track. Be careful about this part. Whoo, sheesh. Might have to just have to get your footing. Well, let's be careful. <clears throat> You're at an advantage because you're short. Hey, if we have to slide down, we have to slide down. Fuck it. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is, right? 
All right, well, it looks like uh, we're gonna have to slide down on this one because this is, woo! If I don't slide, I'm gonna slide. How was it? Make sure you put all your wallets and everything in your pocket. Make sure your pants are pulled up so that way you don't get uh, scrapes and hopefully it's an easy slide. If not, it's gonna be one hell of a freaking rush. Here, kitty, 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 here, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> I'm not even playing around. The thing is, is my butt's too fat. To, ah! I'm stuck in a crevice. I think there's where the danger zone is at. I went to the danger zone. <laughs> that was disappointing. I thought I was gonna like slide right out of here. I think someone played a joke on us with that sign. All good though, we had the last laugh. Anytime you're going hiking, <laughs> make sure you wear clothes that you don't mind getting dirty. For that reason right there. My favorite part about these trails is they're the ones less traveled. And when you're here, they're all yours. And today they were all ours. All ours, baby. We made it to another popular local hike. This time we're at a place called Blair Park in San Bernardino. is an area of San Bernardino, which is right beneath the San Bernardino National Forest, also known as the San Bernardino Mountains. So they refer to this area as Little Mountain in regards to the Big Mountain, which is located in San Bernardino. Interesting facts. We followed the first dirt path, which led us to the base of Little Mountain. And now we're taking the incline up. And so far this incline is a little bit more difficult than we anticipated. How are you doing back there? Exactly what I thought. The temperature right now is about 85 degrees. And right now there isn't any wind whatsoever. So, the sun is out and it's warm and I'm perspiring. And though this trek isn't a long one, it is more intense than the previous ones that we've been on. Whew. And we are starting to plateau. Now, at this point is a fork in the road. If you go to the left looks like it takes you over to those towers over there if you go to the right it takes you to other paths so let's see which way we're gonna go thinking we're gonna go to the towers we're gonna go to the towers towers it is made it to the top of this trail which led us to this tower I'm not sure if it's broadcasting towers cell phone towers electricity towers I'm not sure what kind of towers they are but we made it it's a nice beautiful hike and up here you get 360 degree panoramic views of San Bernardino San Bernardino Valley and the mountains right now it is about 85 degrees Fahrenheit with wind blowing at about five miles per hour. It's a little bit hazy outside right now. If you look down in the valleys, there's a haze covering the area currently. 
but up here it's beautiful and anytime you complete a trail or get to the end of a trail it's very liberating taking a walk along the back side of this tower Let's see what's going on on this side nice little graph on the wall trail goes all the way down and then the other trail see I love that corner house see the one with all the pine trees oh yeah and we are almost at the bottom and this last part of the trek coming back down is probably the more dangerous part of the hike because of the footing that takes place right there but gotta say this is one of the more shorter hikes but it's challenging and it's very easy and doable for anyone of any fitness level but if you are a novice or a beginner it might take you a little longer but you can do it anybody can do it